What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Undead Hunter Let's Play World of Warcraft Dragonflight. We are adventuring through Silver Pine Forest, and the storyline has been incredible. We have been journeying with Sylvanas Windrunner, who is trying to build up a fleet of undead forsaken to fight back and claim these lands. They've just killed the Lich King in the north, and they want to take Lordaeron and Undercity and really build that out as their home base. They're dealing with a worgen insurgents from the south in Gilneas. They are not happy about that. They're fighting back against them as well. So we just rode south from up here with Sylvanas, and we're gonna continue the journey from here. What are we if not slaves? Do you to now understand torment? the importance of our mission here? Crowley and his alliance dogs must be stopped. We are the Forsaken. <laughs> we will slaughter anyone who stands in our way. A convoy of veteran troopers and Forsaken catapults were ambushed earlier today while attempting to cross Olson's Farthing, directly south of here. It was a total loss. All troopers were killed and all catapults destroyed. Bloodfang's pack was responsible for the ambush, though likely they have all fled back into the hills, preparing their next cowardly strike. Their day will come, but for now, I want you to go to Olsen's Farthing and honor our fallen. Okay, let me uh, grab all the things I need around here, like the bat handler, and maybe the hearth. Ooh, the hunter trainer. Can I learn anything? No. Do they even work anymore, the uh, trainers? No. Trust me. Hello. Okay. And a couple other quests here. Drink and honor. Those that survived your assault on Fenris managed to drink the blood of the wolf. They turned into ferocious worgen, hell bent on vengeance. Now they paddled across Lordemir Lake and have assaulted my sea dogs. Many have already been killed. The worgen monsters must be stopped. Make your way to the decrepit fields east of here and kill the Hillsbrad worgen that infest the area. Once you've killed them all, make your way to the Horde communication panel. Located at the docks. I'll be in touch. Fight well, friend. Rooktar. Thank the war chief that you're here, Boneblade. I made a critical error with the Sea Dogs and need your help to rectify the situation. You see, I sent them out against the worgen coming from Fenris Isle's stone cold silver. They attacked the beasts and promptly got their butts handed to them. Many of them died, but a few still live, barely clinging on to dear life. Take this barrel of ale to the decrepit fields east of here. Force it down the throats of the fallen sea dogs. Four, These fellas four. really need to be boozing. It's crazy. Uh, okay, so just more options that we have on the war board. I'll head up here just to see what's going on. We can repair business. some gear. Ooh. Might as well grab this. Somehow I have 87 gold. I don't know how that happens. Okay. So we will start by heading east and tackling these quests. Such haunting sounds in the background here. So in the last episode, we went over to Fenris Isle here, Fenris Keep, and there was a number of humans who were human refugees coming up north from the Hillsbrad foothills. And when we went there, they had opted to basically drink the blood of the worgen to turn into worgen like this as opposed to be turned into undead by us. So they cannot be raised as undead now that they are worgen, um, but wild to think that they chose that fate for themselves. So now we're going out and killing them anyway. And I need to wake up these sea dogs with the booze. I forgot about that. We seem to be carrying a keg on our back. That's a great piece of gear. We're definitely gearing up quickly. Just spraying booze on these guys. Crush and clobber. Bobber slobber. <laughs> what? They make these orc uh, fellas out to be such fools. And we'll just keep grabbing stuff here. Some silver leaf. Far away. 
And the Bobber Slobbers. Relatively easy quest, which is convenient. I like the, um, it's nice that these are easy because I like to continue the storyline, which has been really enjoyable here. A couple of mobs, let's throw a trap in there. I need to get multi-shot so I can do some AoE. So we're good on that, we just have to rouse a bunch of fellas now. Alright, two more of those, then we'll head to where Sylvanas wanted us to be. while we're raising these guys. Just for efficiency's sake. Great. We can probably scoot on out of here. And now we need to head... Oh! Interestingly enough, the quest turn ends over here. So we'll head down there while we're in this region. Uh, I'm trying to just kind of scoot by these guys. quite what the quest is. Okay. Let's see. Something on the dock over here. Ooh. A horde cannon. Interesting. Fenric Thotros. Some sort of rare spawn? Let's see if we can down him. solid pants out of them. They are cloth, though. Okay. Hatchet here. Are they all dead? These worgen you killed with a scouting party. There are hundreds more incoming. Looks like Crowley and Bloodfang made the blood offering to every human in Lordaeron. Get in one of those horde cannons and send them all back to their makers. Let the waters of Lordamere Lake run red with their blood. Some solid male boots, too. So, a total fleet of worgen. All the humans have become worgen so we are just trying to totally wipe them out i don't seem to be able to reach it yet so i need them to hurry up that's we're dealing damage now folks Got it down 50 of these. There's certainly a lot coming now. Uh, they've hit the shore. I don't love that. If they start to attack me, I'm in trouble. No, nope, they're just getting the shore and disappearing. I was going to say, that'd be uh, a harder version of the game. They like to keep it relatively simple for us. A couple more. And we should be good here. Great. Okay, so that is going to be ready to turn in back at base. But let's head down and do Sylvanas' quest before we kick things off. I seem to be stuck in combat. Don't know why or how. So we'll sneak up to the road this way. So, we need to honor the dead. Get the Forsaken Insignias. Take my Silverleaf. I don't know why I'm stuck in combat. We'll just 
just trudge along on our feet then. I suppose my pet might be part of the problem. He's trudging up behind us. Somewhere. <laughs> he may be dead. He's not dead. Great, there we go. All right, so just up yonder. Whoa, there's a rogue with a shadow step. It looks like a group of the ambushers stayed behind. Make them pay for their insolence. Kill all of the bloodthane stalkers at Olsen's Farthing for Sylvanas, for the Horde. Can do. Their shadow step is beastly. It makes it easy, they just pop right to me for looting. Definitely some big damage. Uh, okay, so the insignias on these. Let's see what we get. All right, cool, we need a couple of those. I'm out of range. Need to find more of those guys too. I don't actually see a ton of them laying around. Your target has already had his pockets picked. It's weird that it's still showing me a loot. I'm stuck in combat for some reason, which is super annoying. You have avenged the fallen bone blade, but there is more to be done. Search the nearby farmhouses for alliance stragglers. Keep an eye out for any information that could lead us to Crowley and Bloodfang. Seek and destroy all that would stand in your way. Okay, we're searching the farmhouses. So there's two down here that we're gonna go check out. Still can't seemingly mount. Uh, some sort of combat glitch. Let me give it a reload, see if that'll help. No, we still can't. Um, okay. Oh, I do have an unspent talent point. Apparently? I'm confused. Something is glitching out, and I don't know what. But alas, we press on. Let's head into this farmhouse and see what's going on. And loot this guy while we're at it. Just one more of those needed. Whoa! Caretaker Smithers. Get him out of here. Smithers Logbook. This book documents a recent meeting with Ivar Bloodfang. The location mentioned is the Deep Elam Mine. I know of this place. It has only one entrance. We shall corner and crush them. That's level 19. I got a new ability, Flare, which lets us, like, kind of stake out any stealthers. You must act quickly, Boneblade. They mustn't be given the chance to flee. I'm dispatching a squadron of my most... Whoop. Okay. A squadron of my most powerful troopers to the Deep Elam Mine. I'm also sending the horsemen with them to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Meet them at the Deep Elam Mine, east of Olsen's Farthing. Crush those rats. Okay, great. 
a lot going on right now. So let's get out of here. I believe we need to go to one more house right here, or at least get the insignia. And we do have a talent point too. Something is glitching out on these, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. All right, we need one more insignia. There's one right there. Okay, we will need to go out there to the mine. But before we do, why is our UI all messed up? Because I'm stuck in combat, that's why. Okay, I'm gonna log and re-log in. I can't log out now. Something is glitched. We're gonna deal with it for this episode because we wanna press on, keep the story maintained. Let's trudge up to the top of this mine. I mean, the nice thing is that the, not having a mount isn't that big of an issue because of my trailblazer, my trailblazer speed buff. I need to get closer. But it is a very strange. Maybe if I feign death, I can get out of combat. Still says I'm in combat. That's a very strange issue. Chill runs up your spine. A powerful creature is nearby. All right. I suppose we're to corner them first, then crush, eh? The mistress has put me in charge of this lot. Our primary mission is to get in there, corner the rats, and kill them all, including Bloodfang. You've done us a solid service in getting the information, Boneblade. Join in the glory and help us drive a sword through their miserable skulls. Let me know when you're ready and I'll call for the charge. Very cool. Ready then? Let's get a move on. Try and keep up, Boneblade. Onward, brothers and sisters. I don't know why he still has the quest. Something is glitching out for sure. He still seemingly has this quest logo on him. All right, into the mine we go. What's this then? Oh. Pack leader Ivar Bloodfang. Okay, that was it. Remember this day is the day that Fort Forteski saved your hide. Now run, get back to Sylvanas. Okay, interesting. I believe my hearth is right over there, so we'll head to the sepulcher. Some very strange glitching happening in this episode with my character, but that's all right. Couple cool quests to turn in. We were seemingly trapped there. Though you killed a large number of newly turned worgen, many more are sure to appear. Still, their assault will have softened. Well done, Boneblade. We'll get some good male boots here. Go with honor. Definitely geared up in the last couple episodes. Aha, I knew it. Lesson learned, I suppose. We will not fail again. I will be sure to have some ale on hand at the front lines. A nice male belt and hair of the dog. Go forth to victory. We'll take a sip of the hair of the dog, why not? Ooh, rogue trainer down there. What joy is there in this curse? Have you recovered the insignias? I, no time for I will see to it that these insignias are returned to the Undercity at once. The Registrar will place their names in our records so that their sacrifice may never be forgotten. What joy is there in this curse? What? Sylvana shrieks. Crowley! Bastards. Those were some of our strongest soldiers. I have underestimated Crowley and Bloodfang for the last time. Clearly they are an enemy the likes of which we have never seen. Willing to sacrifice their own to set a trap like this. Unheard of in alliance warfare. So we can get either pants or a new crossbow. Now if this gets upgraded, it'll be worth. We are the Did forsaken. not get upgraded. 
We will slaughter anyone who stands The time has come way. to destroy Crowley, Bloodfang, and every dog at their command. To do this, though, will require cunning and planning, the likes of which they would never dare dream. As one of my most trusted soldiers, Boneblade, I need you to go to Forsaken Forward Command, located in Gilneas, or report to Deathstalker Commander Belmont. I've sent Belmont ahead with my plans. He awaits your arrival. Arthur will escort you to Forward Command. Tell me when you're ready, and I will send you on your way. Cool. So we're going to actually fly down to Gilneas. That's super, super cool. I'm pumped about this. Uh, we seem to be able to loot, or sorry, set our um, talents now. So let's go with interrupt spellcasting. Oh, that's really good. And I also want kill commands. I got to go with... We'll grab counter after. We'll start with kill commands. And then over here, uh, we will, let's bump that up. Cool. Kill command we've got, which is big. We'll keep that there. So kill command gives the command to kill, causing your pet to savagely deal 112 physical damage to the enemy. It just makes my pet that much better. Okay, so we've flown into Gilneas now. So this is like a whole village down here. Wow, I didn't realize that Gilneas is like a full-on zone now. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. I'm into that. I did not know that. Does that better be good? So Silver Pine seemingly... Like, that was Silver Pine. It's a lot smaller than I realized. And then Gilneas is now a huge zone of its own, which is very, very cool. I'm intrigued by this. We'll have to see how it all plays out. I am forced. Well, if it isn't Boneblade Nub, this guy again. I hope you're ready for battle, because that's all you'll find in this hellhole. We're at the heart of contested territory, and these worgen mongrel mongrels won't give an inch. Level 20. We can now do a bunch of different uh, different things here, too. We get PvP talents now. Pretty cool. The Dark Lady has sent you and Arthur here for a very specific purpose. Before I tell you more, we must make preparations. Head east into the forest of Gilneas and search near the trees and rocks of the region for a special plant known as Wolfsbane. Gather as much of the Wolfsbane as you can carry and return to me. Our mission here goes far beyond the scope of the battlefield, Boneblade. In time, all will be revealed. Trust no one. Very, very cool. Let's just I check out the general see goods, see if we can trade in anything. A couple pieces of gear we don't need. Remember. So I have some thoughts. Um, let me ga gather all the quests here first. I don't know how much longer we can hold out for Boneblade. Crowley and Bloodfang's wargans know every hidey hole and safe spot in Gilneas. One minute they're standing in front of you, and the next minute they're gone. We're going to lose this war to a tax of opportunity, even though we have a superior military presence. But Mama didn't raise no quitter. Forsaken until the end, my friend. Head west into the headlands and help our soldiers on the front line. Kill the attacking wargan rebels. Dark lady, watch over you. Communications are down with all of our frontline outposts, Bumblade. As of right now, I don't have a damn clue as to the status of our troops in Gilneas. We need to reestablish communications. I need you to head west into the headlands and find our outposts on the coast. By now, the soldiers there are likely all dead, but their FCD might be operational. Grab the device and get back to me. Recover the forsaken communication device. Okay, so I'm gonna call the episode right now, and when we return, I'm thinking that I'll dive deep into the storyline of Gilneas, because it seems as though we've sort of finished up our questing in Silverpine. Fantastic storyline. But I also think I might queue for a Shadowfang Keep dungeon, which we should be able to... Um, oh, we might have to change our, our zone to be able to do that. But I might do that. It sounds fun. It takes me back. It makes me think of Silverpine. So that might be an episode as well. But thank you all so much for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and join the community over on Patreon. The link is down below if you want to support. I'd appreciate that so much. And while I'm here, I'm actually going to check out some of these real quick. I'm thinking I grab counter shot. I think that's a skill I'm going to want. 
so that I can actually counter things. And I get a PvP talent, which maybe we'll look into in the next episode. Alright guys, thank you so much. Talk to you later.